the brush is is what runs the current through the armature but you can see this has like parts of the brushes all caked in there so i'm going to clean that all off and these brushes are freaking shot they are jammed in place they're supposed to move freely in and out of these channels with these springs putting pressure against the motor guarantee you that's why this thing doesn't work this is all jammed up so i'm gonna have to replace the brushes and clean that up and then the motor should be good to go so i'm happy i'm not gonna have to spend 800 bucks for a new motor all right so quick update on the motor so i got this all cleaned off all the carbon buildup from the brushes that was on there got it nice and clean now these brushes are stuck they're stuck inside the brush holders i was able to get this one out with a lot of work but it's damaged or deteriorated and you can see the inside of there it's got a lot of carbon buildup and that's why they're stuck it's, it's stuck to the sides of the brush holders so i ordered a new one of these and i ordered a new brush set and hopefully this motor will be good to go i wired it direct, directly to uh, battery power to test it uh, but i have to do that after it's back in the cart because there's only a bearing on one side of the motor the other side this bottom side rides on uh, the shaft that goes into the into the rear differential and uses the bearing as part of the, the differential housing. All right, so I got the new brush holder, new brushes. So I'm gonna start assembling that and then I'll put it back in the motor. So it looks like these two are connected and these two are connected. My stud for that one is on the right hand side so that will go there this one will go here remove remove these springs Here we go. Get that out of the way completely. All right, and these move freely. Not like these, they're stuck, stuck in place. And then this other one, the long side goes in here. And then this one We'll go, let's see how this one is. It's most likely like that. All right, so this can go just like that. Okay, now we should be ready to put this back into the holder. And won't forget to use my isolators, insulators. All right, so I have my new insulators here. And additional hardware.
All right, so now I'm doing the fun job of installing the motor.